Are you looking for a good way to organize online learning and class times? Here's a do-it-yourself schedule board for families with more than one child. We will be able to see when their lunches overlap and what times of day they need to be online for face-to-face -face learning virtually versus asynchronous or do-it-yourself activities. Simply cut a large piece of cardboard to 28 inches long or use a pre-existing frame and poster backing. Wrap it in paper, mark your four corners that will be visible once the frame's on and turn those four dots, those four corners into a rectangle. Next, we're going to measure the hour of the day. This example goes from 7 a.m. to 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I began with 2 o'clock on the right and marked my hours backwards. If every hour is equal to four inches, then every inch is worth 15 minutes. After blocking off every hour, go back with your ruler using one inch to mark 15 minutes or half hours where you need to. Then we're going to notice we have four rows in this example and we're going to pull out one child's schedule for their individual row. Looking at the eighth grade row here, I'm penciling in where this child's block begins at 745 and goes to 845 and so on. Once it's in pencil, you can go over it with a black marker and make it stand out. And we're gonna start seeing how their rows are the same or different. Color coordinating synchronous learning, screaming green, reminds us when it's green, go to your screen. And other colors like blue are good to remind us we don't need to be on the computer live with our teacher. Packaging tape has been used to cover up the first two rows. And I'm experimenting with writing with a dry erase marker, like if it's an A day or B day, and then it's easy to erase and change. Um, later, after this schedule is finished, we can tape over it as well and add details that change, like maybe the day of the week or which special they're going to be looking for that day. And then once again, because it has the packaging tape on it, that part erases, but the permanent marker underneath remains the same and the backing that was colored before the tape also stays. Comment below if you have any questions. I wish you and your family the very best during distance learning.